Hello everybody and welcome back. I am Alex Antuna and today I'm going to continue on this model. Yesterday I did a kind of a time lapse getting stuff in and out and trying to get some blocked in shapes. I cleaned up these meshes here. You could probably put like a, a wire going from here to there. That way it would be pretty cool. Uh, something to add. So she got like a plug, a little port maybe. If you could see it, it would be like coming in and out. Maybe do something like that. Uh, let's see what we can do. Let's get a. Um, I'm just kind of going to work the fly here. I do want to fix her eyebrows. <clears throat> eyebrows got a little scary. What was that? Did a weird mesh thing. Let's scale this down. There it is. What was that? What is that? Didn't know what that was. It's my computer graphics card. I don't know. <sighs> so, getting back in this. Place this in here. And probably just add that little wire. Saw a pretty cool video the other day. Uh, Paul Gabriel was doing uh, with the what do you call them? The shape. Let me see what they're called. Not this. Not that. Let's see. Oh, did that turn into? No. Um, I guess I need a different mesh. It was those shape curves and chisel shape. Not a chisel shape. Follow the path. I forget the name of it, but I'll find it in a bit because I'm going to use that on this in a bit. <clears throat> Wrong mesh. Let's go ahead and add to this. I'm going to go ahead and connect this down here somewhere. Even if we don't see it, it's okay. And we're just going to kind of work this in. A little dark. Let's lighten it up. Lighten up the mood. Let's see, boom, bright. <laughs> it's like somebody turned on the lights. He's just like, oh man. This is bright, bright over here. Maybe on that part, we'll see. Oh, there's like a little port. We can add a port or something. Plug in little adapter <clears throat> I was working in plasticity yesterday afternoon um, kind of wanted to practice my skills in there and uh, try to build a, a part for this model it's, it was on the in my YouTube shorts might use it might not I'll just kind of get some practice in but if I do use it it could be coming handy down the road so let's get this and just kind of close the gap Maybe she has a, a, you know, those little clips to hold it, but I don't know. I would think in my mind, like, of not getting uh, snagged on something, right? You, you, you're moving your head and you get cut. And then I guess it's just like anything else. You got long hair. You'll, you'll learn to adapt, right, with that. way when you're like looking here you got something to see We're like zoomed out to see yeah because we'll be from the profile we want to probably droop that down just enough to kind of not there just enough I got my hotkeys on the other side of my keyboard because I'm left-handed and um, yeah, I just want to keep it it's easier for me to select back and forth to this move and draw mode. So that's why I just, when I do it, I just click it in there and I draw. So it's pretty quick. Hotkeys, uh, moving them around where you need them. And that's always, it's always going to speed up the process just a little bit or a lot, depending on your keys. I, I'm not a fan of reaching across the keyboard. Mm, 
bend it just enough, so whatever. We got a curve. Let's see what that looks like. There you go. Just got a little plug, a little plug. Really don't see it, but you never know. If I turn her head looking the other way, you'll you'll see something there, right? So let's convert that. And I've been trying to get in the habit to using this. Um, where are you at? Curves helper, copy chain. The chain is copied. Create a curve, append a new. So I'm going to do this. Click it. Boom. New curve. I can go down to that Z sphere and turn you off. So now I have a curve. I'm going to find that brush. Forget the name of it. It's curve. Let's see if it's under curves. Let's save. I had a trouble when it first came about with one of these brushes and you know I just never used it again. Um, it was a it was a brush that was like I don't know if it was a chisel one, but I kind of stayed away from them after that and it just never went back. But hopefully things were fixed by now. Do 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 curve alpha. It was one of these curve alpha. Let's select it and so you got like a star and let's see what else I got. You find a different alpha. It was something like using one of these, not that many. I wanted just like two. Could probably adjust it. Mm, I don't see it. Let's go to my alphas. See what I got. Let's look around. Let the computer wake up. There we go. Computer woke up. Let's see. Let's see what we can find. It would be something like this. It'd be pretty cool to kind of have it wrap around. Or this one. It could be divided, and we got like a couple curves going in there. Let's see if it'll work. We're gonna do this. Double click it. Oop. And then we'll close that up. Let's see if this will work. Oh, too small. Too small. Where's my brush? Let's make it about. Maybe about that big, right? So we got that. I don't want it to taper. So let's see if there's one that doesn't taper. That looks pretty cool, though. They've, they've already kind of planned it. Let's see if this one doesn't taper. I'm just going to click it anyway. It does taper. Let's undo that. Let's go to this other one. I would think they would have one true profile. Hmm. Would that be more like this? I guess it's that too. There's there's a couple stuff in here, isn't there? There's a lot of things in here. Hmm. Let's see if I can find a similar look. And this is more of a profile than a curve. I'm okay with that. Let's 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 see what we got. Ooh, that looks cool. It looks a little different. Let's see what else we got. Yeah. Because it actually could read a little more detail on there. I like the other one though. Let's um Let's see if we can do that alpha brush again. I'm going to tweak, adjust it, and see what I got. Let's see if there's a curve modifier. Functions. Modifier. Fall off. I don't want the size. Let's just click this. Now it's back to normal. It's what I wanted. That's so cool. Let me see if I can twist it. Um, Curve, modifier, direction, position, range, shift, radius. Hmm. I think I'm okay with it. But it'd be cool if I could uh, rotate it. I don't really need to get too crazy though. I think it's fine. It's just cord anyway. Look at that. Nice. We got a little plug. I just need a port like one of these um, 
these pieces to kind of come in and what's it gonna hurt? Let's go ahead and use this again. Recycle, right? I can recycle. There's no rule in the rule book, so you can't. Let's use what we got. If we don't, I'll, I'll be modeling this <laughs> this all day, or not all day, but every every day of the year, 365 days out of the year. There we go. Kind of kind of works in there. I could pull those cords to be a little bit more adaptive. Rotate this in and push this, push that, and I can scale that. So it could be like more like a plug, right? We can clean this up. I saw this the other day. I wanted to thicken that up just a little bit. Let's just see if I can do it without destroying this mesh. Sometimes I watch the The video to make sure it plays when I upload them, and I saw it and I was just like, oh, I gotta fix that. So there we go. I'll probably remesh it anyway. So let's see what we got. Let's let's do the the move. Pick it up, push it over. There we go. There we go. We're never gonna see this side, so I'm not gonna open it up. And I say that right. I'll say that now. Let's relax the, the brush so we can get um, just a little bit smoother. I don't want to relax too much, but yeah. Still kind of get, you know, and, and also the other thing is chords usually do kink like that whenever they're kind of. There's always like old, not old tools, but tools, and I forget that they're there, or there would be an update and I just never got around to using the tool or mastering it. That's what these come in handy for, these little personal projects. You can learn how these tools could be used. So now she's got like a little plug. I can actually shorten that plug so it can be more. She's got the upgraded chip version. And they're like, what? You got the compact whatever plug. Let's see what that's made of. Stuff. Let's see. Um, let's go ahead and select about a good amount. Not that amount. Like this good amount there. Let's delete hidden. Yes, it's already deleted. Now we'll kind of nudge this in there. Nope. Not the polish. You won't polish it back in there. So it's kind of there we go. It's such a small detail, but it's there. It's a little detail. Just in case I turn her head, maybe, if, if you're looking at her from a profile, and if she turns her head just slightly, you'll see this little connector right there. So, it's not all lost, and let's see if I render it. It depends on the camera. I know my camera is gonna be from this angle to her, uh, to see it. But so, let's see. Let's see what happens right here, let's render. In a while, yeah, so you can kind of read that there's a little bit more going on here. Um, I want to start cleaning up some of the mesh, but I don't know if I want to show that in this video. I'll probably do that later tonight if I can get some time to jump in. But I do want to add some eyebrows before I forget <laughs> how I did the hair, you know, how it is. This, um, the other thing was. Um, I thought about giving her teeth just to give her just a little bit more human 
but I didn't know how far I wanted to go with that. So that's still a thought. If I don't mess with anything here, but I also kind of just was like wondering if I wanted to clip off parts of her, you know, like if I really want to, we could do this. We can, we can start to just push in, pull parts. Not like that though, that looks kind of, <laughs> you just put a square in her face, yeah. So let's go here, let's get these eyebrows going in. So loosen it up there. I wanted to have maybe I'll thicken them up. Remember, I did those cuts, the, the little razor cuts on her eyebrow. Just wanted her to kind of have that. You know, she she modifies even her eyebrows just. Uh, that far to implant some part of your you know modify yourself I would think that you would not stop there and, and tell a story there right but I want it to be to where it's not like an accident like, kind of like that This, this is following that line, so that's good. Let's just kind of keep it. Keep that form going right here, because if I do cut into her head, that could probably be a, a something to look towards. And the last time I did the eyebrows, there wasn't enough hair to cover, so it kind of looked a little odd. Everybody's features are so different between like eyebrows, eyes, and stuff. That's why I always, I guess I, I always stick the monsters. When you stick the monsters, monsters a little easier because nobody's gonna tell you monsters. Um, his eyebrows are wrong, right? Because it's a little easier. And then that's a little comfort zone for me. But this is out of the comfort zone. It's alright though. She's horrible. So let's see how that looks. I want to cut her eye back in there. That's gonna work either way because it's gonna be hard to pull off, but we'll, f we'll figure it out. Boom. I don't want her to look mean. I want her to have a bit of innocence. Not, not a, not a. Not a soldier, but something you could read. I'm just gonna follow this brow part there. Kinda... You can tell I don't do eyebrows <laughs> often. Alright, let's try this. If we don't like it, we can delete it, right? I can do this all day and keep going in circles. Um, we don't want that for both of us, uh, whoever's watching. So, let's go to Preview and Modifiers. And we're going to pick the color. Let me see if I can pick the color from here. Yeah, pick the color. I would think that her, her 
Well, you know what? Let's keep it a little natural. Let's not color her eyebrows like how much. Let's see, length uh, 150. 75. And I did my coverage last time like real low. And I don't want it to be low. So let's just do a preview. See what this looks like. Because I'm going to pull back the hair or, or, or groom it right to be uh, not follow the gravity. I did have to test the, the posing. Ooh, that's a little, it's a little thick. Some max fibers. I think it was this that I did. Just kind of lowered it to 10. See if this will process quicker. So hopefully, get like a little bit better, better look. I'll well, make them a little longer too. Really depends. Need the 75. Hmm. Almost still looks like too much. So. I'm curious if I can groom it real quick and get, get it to a look until I can accept it in a bit. Let's do that. Brush, groom, brush. Let's see if I can groom it while still in preview mode. No. <laughs> no. Well, I tried, right? I tried. Length 75, length 100. Coverage at five. Let's see what this looks like. You need it because what's throwing me off is the her mask underneath. That can be a little hard to read sometimes. So let's see what it looks like. I don't know. Let's go to. I went real low last time, and it was just like, it wasn't even anything there. I'm going to start building out her little computer, um, her uh, gamer mic. She's always gaming, right? She's video gaming. Let's go three. Not 30. And preview. This is why the, the time lapse is pretty good on stuff like this because you don't have to wait and we process it and go the back and forth. It's a little longer uh, doing this real time. Maybe I'll get an extra session in and do a couple hours. Let's just go ahead and accept this and see what it does. Accept. And let's turn that on to uh, symmetry so we don't have to keep doing stuff over again. Maybe it'll, it'll read. A little better than last time. So last time her eyebrows were a little too wrong button. There we go. There we go. Make the bridge brush big enough so I can grab it and I gotta pull this down there we go let's see how that reads I guess she's not symmetrical on her face did I do something probably and I can always fix that, but I don't know. We'll see in a bit. In the end, she won't be symmetrical, right? I actually got that cut that I didn't want. So, I don't like her eyebrows. I don't know. That's something I need to keep playing with. I don't want to drag on with eyebrows. So I don't have much long, longer. But 
Let's see what we got. For now, they're going to be there. I'm going to have to do symmetry on her face after a bit, but let's go ahead and let's go start breaking this out. real quick low references cyberpunk okay we're going to probably extract pieces of here You know what I mean? Uh, cyber, uh, cyberpunk. That's one. I'll extract. It's not thick enough. Point one. Extract. Too much. Extract. Extract. Yeah. Let's just go there. Just keep going. Keep going. So, so I'm thinking like uh, like I said uh, like the other day I was like mentioning Colossus. I can clean this up as we go. Build up in here. Build up in there. I'm gonna have a long one up there. Who knows how it looks? I'm just I'm just trying to block in this piece. You know what? Idea. Uh, let's go solo. Let's just break this piece off. Not you though. Lasso and right there. separate but this will be kind of tucked away right there Delete hidden. Yes, delete hidden. 
delete lower, delete hidden, <laughs> delete everything. And then I could slice this up. Let me go here. I'm gonna probably Z remesh this just real quick. Active. Running low on time today. session this, this here but um, yeah just trying to keep moving forward just keep going with it trying to get the details going maybe tonight or something I can uh, do a little bit more and then clean it up to get some cleaned up parts cleaned up meshes and do a more, another time lapse I don't know how much any of it helps but it's always kind of fun to keep it keep it uh, documented so here, there, everywhere. Now what I was going to do is probably a uh, panel. I need to dynamesh this too, don't I? Yeah, I do. Let's just dynamesh. And then Z remesh adaptive. Yeah, not too bad. Clean up these edges. What I was thinking to do is going to do a panel loops. So I'm going to just kind of put this in there and probably don't need both sides. Auto groups. Boom. Done. Delete. Hidden. Let's just get a slice. Slice curve. Where you at? Slice curve. And then we'll just follow the contours of her muscle. Boom. One. Backside. Two. And here. And then we'll do another one just right here. Four. We'll turn this on. And then let's see what we got. We'll turn off this. There and we're going to. I'm looking right at it, aren't I? Loops, panel loops. There we go. Then we can polish that up. I don't want it thicker though. Yeah, just one more. Let me think. We can work with that. Similar to this, this one right here, but it's a little bit more. But it is a bigger muscle and there and let's polish by groups let's just relax it and all yeah just slight relax all right got something kind of going there yes this was a way to kind of turn that off permanently. It's kind of annoying um, to, to have on there. And then we'll have muscle kind of pull into here. Probably put some hardware in there. Let's turn it back to that slick metal metallic. Now she's got like a little bit of a shoulder to kind of go from. And then we can start adding a little bit more um, to her. that down just slightly we're up let's put this right there and I'll have to call it done for today but there we go it just wants to be resting on her shoulder so if she lifts her arm it's not so much and then it's not gonna affect this so much either but it's still got to be layered clothing right it's kind of pushing the pulling um, hopefully Yeah, and then save, and that's all I got for today. I wish I would have had longer, but <laughs> my dog, she wanted to go outside, so I was just like, come on, girl, you get, she's like, I want to chill out here in this weather, it's nice, so that's where 
that's where some of my time went so just sometimes she she spoiled so hope everybody's doing well and have a good day thanks for watching later